Hello beautiful people, my name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I am doing the body tag. This was a tag created by Brandon at Brandon's Bookshelf. I will leave his video linked below. If you have not checked out his channel, he does a beautiful job of book reviews and sharing a lot of philosophy and intellectual thought that a lot of times I have to think about. And what I really appreciate is one, his videos are very well explained and informative. And two, if I have a question that I put in the comments, he never makes me feel stupid for asking the question. And I really, really appreciate that. And then I was tagged by the awesome Aaron Facer. I will leave his channel linked below. If you're not familiar with his channel, I would highly recommend checking it out. He does a lot of great reviews and particularly his kind of forte is poetry and he even reads a lot of the poems and sometimes his reading is so spot on that I feel like I reach a deeper level of understanding the poem by listening to him read it than if I had just read it myself. So that is that. The body tag is a list of body parts you think of the book that corresponds to that. And I just mostly went with the ones off the top of my head. These are all at least four star, usually five star reads for me. So they're books that I recommend checking out just in general. So the first one is The Brain and Intellect. And of course, the first one I thought of is George Orwell's 1984 because it is one of my all-time favorite book classics. And it is basically the government and the entire universe in that sense is watching you through everything Google Siri. <laughs> Hello, this is happening today, right? Uh, all the street cameras, all that kind of stuff. And, but they're actually trying to monitor your thoughts. They're actually like thought police and trying to control even to the level of what people think. So which I kind of think sometimes people, I mean, advertisers, they're trying to get us to think about buying stuff. So you can at least go there, even if you don't want to jump on the bag wagon that they're trying to get us to be controlled in other ways. The next one is the mouth voice so I immediately thought of losing my voice to find it. This is a memoir of Mark Stewart, who was a lead singer of a Christian rock band. Uh, it is one of my favorite nonfiction books, and I'm going to do a video for that for non what to read in nonfiction November um, next weekend. So stay tuned for that. I will tell more about my thoughts on that book then. The next one is The Heart or Feeling. And I went with Edgar Allan Poe because I merely, you know, thought of the telltale heart and the beating hearts and then the, and just thought about all the feelings that Poe provokes in you as you read. And it, you know, it doesn't say good feelings even, it's just feelings. And so I just am a huge fan of Poe, think that he is just so unique and fascinating and his life was tragic and he turned it into some art basically. He took a tragic life and turned it into art. So I really appreciate, um, you know, that aspect of him. Then the next is the arm or strength. And this is actually another body part, but not the arm. It's crow's feet. And this is a collection, uh, that is put together by multiple authors, uh, people, um, I think it's all women, if I remember correctly, but talking about aging, about reconciling the breakdown of our bodies, reconciling the wisdom, collecting with dealing with life changes. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful, not very big book of collection of essays and thoughts. And some of them are very, very beautiful. And it's just the strength, the strength of growing older and accepting it and learning. Um, love that. The elbow or humor. So for this, I didn't think of anything immediately. I had to look at my bookshelves. But then the first one I saw that I immediately smiled and thought that will do is the memoir of Bob Barker. This is not the most literary acclaimed writing, but it is a great account with a lot of humor about his 30 plus years of hosting The Price is Right show. And so if you grew up any time in the original series, the reruns, um, knowing Bob Barker, his heart, his passion, his humor for people, for going with the flow, a lot of it live shows, right? So you have to kind of be on your feet and witty. Uh, this was just really, really fun. I'm not sure if you didn't, you know, 
weren't a fan of show or aren't familiar with the show if this book would be funny or but I think it would I think I think it would still be a fun way to learn about you know 70s 80s 90s TV show game shows they were all the rage it's like I don't see as many game shows nowadays next one is the stomach and food and I'm going with one of my favorite little nonfiction books all about eggs so this book it's it's um Kong Rachel Kong. Rachel Kong um, wrote this, and this is a lovely book. I actually got this at the Dollar Tree, but I think it would be worth paying um, a little bit more. It has like a history about eggs in different cultures, about how they're spiritual, about the Fabergé eggs, about famous particular eggs through the centuries. It talks about the different birds with the different sizes, the different qualities of eggs folklore of eggs, um, all these different random things. And I was just having such a fun little old time reading this beautiful, cute little green Dollar Tree book. I just was so excited that I had found that. Uh, next is The Groin or Romance. So probably the my favorite romance of the year has been Book Lovers. I really, really appreciate Emily Henry because I am not a big romance reader, but when I want one, this is always, her books have always been exactly what I wanted them to be. You know, funny, great dialogue, characters that you care about, the right amount of like sexual tension and steamy scenes, but still having a storyline that doesn't make it all about that. So that's my romance. Um, the hands are work. I immediately, Thought the Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. This is a story of a woman who is kind of let go by her family, adopted by another through marriage and pregnancy, and then raising that family in the era of the Dust Bowl, needing to make some hard decisions, work very hard, and just figuring out how do you work in a Great Depression and in times of struggle. Um, and just, she was definitely willing to dig in, use her hands, help out neighbors, just beautiful, beautiful characters and story, historical fiction. Then, Legs and Fitness, I have to go ahead and give another foreshadowing to my favorite nonfictions. One of those is Run the Mile You're In. This is uh, by Ryan Hall. He was a marathoner Olympian runner, and this is his memoir book about learning how to learn lessons from running. So each chapter, there's 26 chapters, one for each of the marathon mile, and they're, th they're different mantras or things that he would think about for each mile. So like the, the perseverance or um, <sighs> success and what success means, partnering and how to, you know, dwell into relationships, all these kind of, kind of, so it's like philosophy of running from his faith perspective of using it even as a spiritual discipline. So I will talk a little bit more about that in my nonfiction November video coming up. And then finally is the foot or traveling. So I totally wanted to share the curious charms of author Pepper uh, by Phaedric Patrick. This book is I know it didn't get, I don't know, I'll have to put like what it got ratings on Goodreads. I don't think it's an extremely popular book all the way around, but I love it. It's one of my favorite little sweet books. This is one of the stories of a cranky old person who, you know, has the loss of his wife right at the beginning and he finds a mysterious charm bracelet that she owned that he didn't know about and all these charms that she collected kind of represented things in her life that you know he was married for for decades and he didn't really know so he goes on a journey and starts finding kind of retracing her path and learning about her and learning about her life and um just and discovering all these things about himself in the process and it's a little predictable it's a little easy but if you're looking for like that kind of light easy more simple sweet character driven um you know, book and you can suspend your disbelief that things are just clicking along uh, a little easily. I really, really appreciate the story. It just came at a time when I needed something like that in my life. And so I just have a bonding and, and like that kind of travel journey 
adventure, if you will. So there you have it. I am going to tag, these are probably retags of people that have already been tagged, but consider yourself double tagged because I don't think I've seen your videos yet. <laughs> um, I will tag my friend Nikki at Red Dot Reads. I'm going to tag my friend Michelle at Books Cause Insomnia. I am going to tag the lovely Shelly at Shelly Swearingen. Um, you know, feel free to do this at your leisure. I will look forward to seeing more videos on this body tag. I've been watching several. I can't even remember. I think maybe I picked some of the same books, but if I did, I promise you I had my book picked when you held it up and went, yes, yes, I agree with that. <laughs> Y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Happy reading. Take care now.